It would be an outrage and a tragedy for this country if John Lennon and Yoko Ono are deported. Their strong anti-drug stand and their clear, eloquent commitment to nonviolence and the participation in action for constructive social change are messages badly needed in America today, particularly for our youth. Not just because we we talk about peace, you know. I mean, because we we want we, we want peace, you know. We've said the same thing for two years, different way, one way or another, and we believe in it. The only thing we promoted was peace and love. You're more responsible for the expression of love and peace in the arts than anyone practically in the 20th century. And it's very ironic that the government approved our application as outstanding artists whose presence is beneficial to U.S. cultural interests and the public welfare. The, the federal judge has approved that, and the government has, but we had to fight for it. And it's the only time that he's ever had to go to court to force the government to consider an application like that, obtained by an injunction, meaning that as one way for us to come in it is as outstanding artists, as scientists, there's a special clause. Now, we put that in our case, and nobody looked at it. And it's, it's a law that they have to look at the application. They didn't look at it, and our lawyer went down and said, you haven't looked at it. So he took them to court, and the judge, and the federal judge said, they have to look at it, and they have to take this into consideration. Yes, they are outstanding artists, and would be a benefit to this country. And it's the only time he's had to go in and fight for it. I join thousands of other concerned Americans in asking you to take favorable action enabling John Lennon and Yoko Ono to remain in this country. Signed, Leonard Woodcock, President, United Auto Workers. Right on, Leonard.